Hello, and welcome to my airspace. This morning, there's this road. I decided to come further down than I have been. I usually turn up a little ways up there. Before that ridge right there. And something told me to come on down. I could see it actually from the ridge, but this is a new addition to this home. And my heart hurt when I saw this. I don't care what anybody says. There's no horse in the world or no animal in the world that wants to be in a pen, especially one that small. He just looks so forlorn. However, that's just coming from my heart. Maybe he's thrilled to be penned up in something that is what, three, six, nine, twelve, maybe twelve by twelve feet, I'm guessing, at the most, maybe ten by ten. And he's just there. She, he, whatever. Just, I don't know, it's one of the reasons I haven't had pets and many decades, because I feel, I so personally feel the need for freedom and to be able to do what I want pretty much when I want to, as long as I'm not hurting anyone else. And I don't know, keeping an animal penned up, people seem to like dogs. How many dogs out there in the world live inside someone's apartment and cats that live in people's homes? keep them happy and somehow or another they think they're keeping the animal happy but I guarantee there's I think that's a very rare situation a small percentage who knows 10 20 percent of animals that would rather be with a human companion than out running in the wild anyway so much for my little treatise on um, animals that have to be penned up all alone penned up in that little thing that little pen trying to find some little bit of food to eat. I don't know. You know, maybe he was, I wonder if he was abandoned and they took him on. So they feel that this is better than whatever it might have been. Maybe so. I don't know. Anyway, it looks to me like there's enough land right there that they could have made that pen three times bigger. Oh well. Okay. Love you all. Subscribe to my channel. Make it a wonderful day. Go do a random act of kindness. Bye.